Will Gibman was left stranded on 99 not out as Kent dominated the second day against Sussex. Kent picked up on 211 for 5 and most of the morning session saw Stevens and Gidman successfully build their overnight stand, which was to be eventually worth 101 for the sixth wicket, with Stevens dominating the scoring between the pair. Stevens reached his half century from 102 balls, as he and Gidman continued to put Kent in the box seat. Gidman struck consecutive boundaries to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Stevens was continuing the form that saw him hit a daddy hundred last week, and the veteran all-rounder produced a shot straight from the first tee to hit the first maximum of the innings. Sussex had a breakthrough when Stevens chopped on to his middle stump off McGoffin out for 79 and knocking over his off stump in frustration. Gidman kept going into the afternoon though, dominating a stand of 45 for the 7th wicket with new man Treadwell. Gidman reached his 50 from 151 balls with a couple of runs off Shazad. Kent was 7 down when Treadwell was bowled by Shazad for 13. Gidman and Coles took Kent past 400 within 110 overs to ensure that their side would claim maximum batting points and the pair continued to frustrate Sussex. Coles took a particular liking to the Sussex spinners whom he scored quickly off in moving to his 50 before the tee interval. After the break, Gidman and Coles continued to build, and their stand was worth 105 when it was ended by Briggs, Coles out for 70, Robinson the catcher. Villoon made little impression with the bat, caught by Kachopa off Robinson for just three. Gidman continued to move towards three figures, but after almost six hours at the crease, he was to be stranded on 99 not out, when last man Claydon was caught by the sub off McGoffin for one, McGoffin taking five for 88. Kent 496 all out, an excellent team effort that ensured a huge first innings lead of 316 runs. A card with contributions all the way down, most notably Billings, Stevens, Gidman and Coles, who all passed 50, though none of them were able to reach their ton, with Gidman highly unfortunate to be stranded on 99 not out. Sussex openers Nash and Haynes put on 39 runs for the first wicket. Villeneuve gave Kent a new batsman to look at when having Haynes caught behind for 11. Night watchman Shazad fell with what was to be the last ball of the day, caught by Billings off Claydon for just three. Nash 19 not out, Sussex precariously placed on 42 for two at stumps, still 274 runs behind and fighting to avoid an innings defeat.